In this video, we're going to talk about how to build reports within Report Builder for SharePoint and Project Server. Here you can see I've navigated to the document folder that contains reports that we've already built. And so really the easiest way to start out is to modify an existing report and save it differently. So let's first come in here and we can run this report and we can see that it runs. Well, maybe we want to add a column to it, change the formatting, maybe change the background um, or bold something or whatever. So let's now go to Actions and we're going to say Open with Report Builder. Now what this does is open up Report Builder on your local machine and the report file itself um, is open as well. And so you can see this is the actual um, report that you can now modify and then save back to the server. So as a general overview, um, really what you're concerned about are the data sources. The data sources is what connects to the various databases. And then the data sets that use a particular data source um, to um, aggregate your data together and display it on the report. So um, let's go ahead and make a change here. We're going to add a column. Maybe we want to add project manager um, to uh, as the first column. So I'm going to choose insert column left. And um, we need to know what data set this is associated with. And let me pull this over here so you can see. So you can see the data set is a project data set that this table is associated with. So I'm going to choose project. And then um, there's the project manager um, that we've already uh, written a query for in this data set. And I'm going to drag it in. And you can see now we have the project manager. Let's retitle this. Um, OK. And then um, maybe we want to uh, set the background color to something like that right and then um, now uh, let's test our report so you can run it right here within the environment so that you can so you can actually test it before you save it back to the server and here we're running it great okay so here's our report um, that we just modified we had the we added the project manager and we turn the background color of the, the top header row to orange. So I'm going to go back. And now I'm going to choose File, Save As, and um, maybe I want to save it um, potentially as a different report um, so that I leave my um, new, you know, my old report intact. So I could label it like V2, or I could just save over. Um, the existing report. So it just kind of depends. You may want to have a um, you know different variations of a report on the server. So I'm going to click Save. Now um, it's saving it back to the server. And so now all I have to do um, is I'll uh, Go back to my reports area, and you can see that the closed project summary uh, v2 report is now on the server. So let's run it and make sure that our changes that we saved to it were um, were saved to the server properly. Great. So now we have the project manager column that was added, and we changed the background color for the header row.